in the Cuthbert political arena of Kenya, few individuals have been as committed, smart, and politically faithful as Professor Kifre Kindiki. In this episode, we seek to tell the story of Kindiki right from his early years at the university, who is currently standing as a key architect of legal reform in Kenya. Promising to rise and become the third deputy president of Kenya. I want to provide, I want to say that I'll provide continuity. Kindiki has passed through different personal and political challenges which have shaped his career, character, and political loyalty. Using the documentary, we seek to understand personal narrative of a man called Kifure Kindiki, the language of law, loyalty, and leadership. With a strong background in law, absolute loyalty to Deputy President William Ruto, and practical adherence to discipline and leadership, Kindiki's journey started way before he joined the Vice President's circle. I will serve under you and provide you with the assistance and support you require to take this country to the next level. Kithure Kindiki is an able son of Sarakanithi district where the leadership principles of dictatorship of justice and equities were pricked in him. He has always been keen on the law as a field from his childhood, devoted himself to studying it and further and went applying to help others. Kindiki, after completing a bachelor's degree in law, he went further and studied for a PhD in international law at the University of Pretoria in South Africa. This shot him to the position of an associate dean and head of department, Department of Public Law at the University of Nairobi. At just 35 years, Kindiki was known a non-scholar and legal luminary, training the young brain behind the Kenya's future legal practitioners. Kindiki's legal firm finally placed at the international context. In 2013, when Ruto, the president, was to defend himself before the International Criminal Court, ICC, Kindike assumed a very tertiary task of defending Ruto. He defended Ruto vigorously, proving his expertise on matters of international law. The fact that uh, for five days are over doesn't mean the ICC will come and say you are doing nothing. This makes the political reality in Kenya. Government is loyalty and it is hard to come by. According to the local governor, loyalty for Kithure Kindiki is not just the loyalty for a tutor, but the loyalty for a common cause, the Kenya we envision. Even though he was not named as Ruto's deputy presidential candidate in the 2022 election, Kindiki remained loyal to the plan of Ruto's administration for Kenya. This loyalty was rewarded when Ruto appointed him to be the CS Interior, acknowledging this. Amos Chege posted on his Facebook account is stating that in this capacity, Kindiki was managing complex security first of Kenya and steering matters of vital importance with cautiousness and delicateness. His loyalty was capped with another reward when, in November 2024, he was made the Deputy President of Kenya following impeachment of Rigathi Gashagwa. Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa tonight stands impeached. This position is as, as informed by Ruto's confidence in Kidihi as well as the latter's capacity to stick to his word. Even at a time when the political bikes are turning, Kidiki rises to the rank of the deputy president, showing how allegiance is translated into a characteristic feature of political leaders' career when paired with ability. Leadership is grounded in values that emphasize justice, transparency, and service to the people. As a Senate majority leader and deputy speaker, Kindiki was instrumental in the advancing key legislation, using his legal expertise to craft policies that would benefit ordinary Kenyans. He championed initiatives that strengthened devolution, giving counties more power and resources, a move that aligned with Ruto's vision for a bottom-up economic model. Known for his strong stance on accountability, he was often seen as a voice of reason in the Senate one who valued constructive dialogue over divisive politics. When appointed cabinet secretary for interior, Kindiki initiated sweeping reforms in Kenya's police force. His tenure saw a series of programs aimed at modernizing security forces, implementing human rights training, and promoting transparency in law enforcement. This informs so widely of praised positioning him as one of the best performing cabinet members in Ruta's administration. Kindiki's approach to leadership is measured yet resolute. His policies in the interior ministry weren't about quick fixes. They were structured for long-term impacts. He has always believed that true leadership is about leaving a legacy. No leader's journey is without controversy. Kindiki's time in the Ministry of Interior faced challenges, a myriad of challenges that tested his principles and patience. 
During his tenure, Kindiki faced a criticism of a police force handling of protests in 2023, which tragically led to casualties. This incident sparked widespread debate about police reforms and limits of government intervention. While Kindiki issued statements to address the situation, calling for inquiries and reviewing training protocols, the incident left an indelible mark on his career. It highlighted the complexities of his role and the constant balancing act required to ensure both national security and civil liberties. Despite the criticisms, Kindiki continued to push for reforms, further solidifying his reputation as a leader who will face difficult challenges head-on rather than evade responsibility. Kenya suggests that as Deputy President, Kindiki is on the precipice to create more positive legacy or shift in the course of Kenya's future. He is a career associated with reliability, law, and management. He is well positioned to support Kenya in the future development. Now as Kenya's Deputy President, Kindiki will continue with his reformist agenda being right-hand man to President Ruto, propelling the nation forward especially in matters touching on economic difficulties, constitutional changes. All perceive Kindiki as a voice of reason in the administration, while Ruto has been rather more energetic in his approach than deliberative. In interviews, he vowed to serve all Kenyans with justice and equity. I commit, I will be loyal and faithful. The kind of leadership that should not be defined by the Kenyan passion ire. To Kindiki, the future cannot be about holding on to power, but about power based on the kind of nation and people one want to transform. People of the nation are united through common goals and attaining these goals, we are gradually writing the history of the nation. It must be wise as we lead, and the service of the nation must be rendered in humility, all the time understanding that our duty is to all persons in this country. Professor Kithrui Kindiki's story is a testament to what is possible through dedication, resilience, and a commitment to principle. His journey from the lecture halls in Nairobi to the international courtroom and ultimately the office of the deputy president is one of Kenya's most compelling political stories. In Kindiki's own words, and I quote, leadership is not about titles, it's about making a difference, end of quote. As he takes on his new role, Kenya watches with anticipation. Knowing that in, President, in Professor Kindiki, they have a leader who is not only a master of the law, but also a custodian of loyalty and leadership. There are only 32 months to make an impression. The world is waiting to see where the soft spoken Lord Don Kifure Kindiki will conquer politics and triumph where two professors of, of one of mathematics, neither of history, have faltered in the past. Before Professor Kifure Kindiki crossed over to Harambe Annex, he had been preceded by two professors, George Saitoti and Joseph Karanja. Saitoti's mathematical formula to status was miscalculated, blowing him out of his tenancy at the number two position he had occupied for 13 months. History told the late Karanja that politics was a different ballgame from the subject he had mastered up to doctorate level, less only for one year that he was ousted that saw him spat out of power. Before these two, the political masterminds, people considered to be the founding fathers and political studies of politics in Kenya, Jeramogi Oginga Odinga and Daniel Moy, who left useful lessons to learners like economist Mwaki Baki and botanist William Ruto to win the ultimate prize, the presidency. <laughs>